earth we all live on this beautiful planet earth so let us learn a little about the structure of earth this earth consists of so many different layers as we can see and these layers are basically divided into three parts that is the crust the mantle and the core so you can see the layers are just one after the other so we will study one layer one by one here we can see that the outermost layer is a little different than the others that is the crust now this is the outermost layer of the earth as we can see and it is comparatively very thin as compared to the other layers the next layer is the mantle here you can see the thickness is little more than the outer layer and it is made up of heated rocks coming to the next one that is the innermost layer of the earth that is core now the core is consisting of so much of hotness and temperature this is due to the liquid that are present so the core is divided again into two parts the outer core and the inner core now the inner core is the hottest part of the earth planet this is made up of iron and nickel and it is very solid now that was about the structure of earth let us come a little out and talk about the atmosphere it is the layer which is surrounding the whole earth and it is made up of so many different gases together we can see here the first layer that is the troposphere the troposphere is the layer where the life exists and it extends from 14 to up to 16 kilometers above the earth the layer next to troposphere is the ozone layer we all have heard about it that it protects us from the harmful uv radiations of the sun right the next layer after that is the stratosphere it is the layer in which the jet aircrafts in which we all sit and go this is the layer in which the aircrafts even fly coming to the air pollution air pollution means adding of the harmful or dangerous substances to the atmosphere why is it done it is done due to the transportation due to the excessive use of oils coals petroleum and all and excessive air pollution would lead to global warming 